Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church Young Adult Sunday School Class Daily Devotional for Saturday, December the 4th. Man, only 27 days, 28 days left in the month and the year. It's hard to believe it's all flying by so fast, um, but it is. This morning, I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, how should we... Uh, as Christians, how, how should we treat each other? Oh, sorry about that. How should we treat each other? Uh, you know, we, we need to make sure that we're always lifting each other up and edifying and, you know, being positive. And um, I want to read a few verses here. Um, one of my um, favorites, Hebrews 10, 25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching, and the day is definitely approaching faster than it ever has before. Um, and then I also want to read um, 1 Corinthians 14, 26. How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you hath a psalm, hath a doctrine, doctrine hath a tongue, hath a revelation, hath an interpretation? Let all things be done unto edifying. So it's really important for us as God's people when we come together and even when we're not together to be praying for and lifting each other up to the Lord. Um, and it's especially important in today's time uh, because the world is getting more and more wicked by the day. Um, I would have never thought that in my lifetime I would have seen some of the crazy and nasty things that that, is, that are going on in our world today um, where Christians would be, you know, shunned and where people of faith would be discriminated against uh, in the United States of America, especially. So if it's getting this bad here in America, I can only imagine how bad it's getting in other places around the world where Christians were pretty much never welcome. But, you know, back to how we need to treat our brothers and sisters in Christ, um, you know, there's a reason why there's a commandment that says, love thy neighbor as thyself. Um, I mean, the Lord uh, wants us to love each other as he loved the church, as he loved us, and as he gave his life to save every person on the face of this planet, whether they believe in him or not, he loved them, and uh, and we should love each other. And um, I also just kind of want to touch on the vote that we have coming up this Sunday that, um, you know, that everyone's been praying for, that... Uh, you know, we would just consider the Lord's will that we would, you know, just just vote the way the Lord would have us to vote in this in this Philip Connor vote here that's coming up on Sunday. I mean, I've been praying for about it. I know my family's been praying about it. I know each of you have been praying very earnestly about it. And you know, the time's going to come on Sunday, and we'll just, you know, we'll just go to church and. Uh, and, you know, we'll vote the Lord's will. And um, and then afterwards, um, whatever the Lord decides is what, you know, what we'll do. And again, just, you know, keep praying about it. I mean, all the way up until the minute that it happens. And even afterwards, because afterwards, um, well, I don't exactly know, you know, what's going to happen, but. You know, we just need to have our hearts open and, and prepared so that uh, the Lord can move and work. And, uh, and that's all I had to say this morning. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to close this out now in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you so much for this medium that we have to come to share your word, Lord. We thank you, Father, for each one that we can reach with this. Father, we want to lift up our church to you, Lord, as we go to this important boat on Sunday morning, Lord. 
uh, that your hand would be in it, Lord. Father, we just ask that you would just uh, be with be with each person, Lord. Uh, you know that they would just do your will, Father. That, Lord, and no matter what happens out of that boat, Lord, that the church would just come together and unite. That uh, that we would just be your people in Laporte, Texas, Lord. That that we would be stronger than ever, Father. We ask all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.